The machines are tight together here. I'll try and get some scope of what it looks like as far as I can get away from it. 466 cool ring. Told it's a 1964 model. Well, it's even got an old history sign on it there. It says Surrey, BC. DOT Developments, General Contractors. So this thing's like 50. That's a math question. 1964 to 2022. Is well over 50 years old. Really straight. Gotta wonder if that's original paint. You wouldn't think so on the track frames. Air tank, because they have air controls. Street boom. Had a few comments on one of these older coal rings they did before and somebody mentioned this was quite a boom and it was purpose i think for, they called it a sewer water for deep trenching got a curious angle to it but it's all mouthed out and it's had a few cracks Quite the sun visor. And it's got the cleanup bucket, as we call them here. I don't know if other parts of the world really use them. Pin on, which became quick change years later by Lynn Buckets here in North Vancouver, BC old name it's the term H link hadn't been invented so we'll call that an a link for the shape of it oh that's got the same bottom as my old 305 or 304 coring drag line head interesting you know the first corings were kind of a half and half they were uh, Bottom half of the shovel, the top half of a hydraulic machine. I don't know if anybody knows who they are, but there's probably a story. Great things done. Let's see if we can look in the cab. Oh, it's a slider door and it's not slidering. Okay, we'll do it this way. Long cab. I think you put two operators behind it. Oh, I got it. There we go. Air controls. That was something for back then. Look at the scope of this cab, that's incredible. You have four people back there. There's how you run it. That's for the scooper. All right, well, this is a cool one.